Oh yeah, super awesome homemade intro style. Hello everybody, all you beautiful, beautiful people. My name is Alex, and um, I'm going to give Minecraft a new try. Well, the Let's Play of Minecraft at least. I did have one, a uh, very short-lived one at some point. But uh, I'm thinking with the 1.2 patch, I'm going to give it another try. What well, chicken? You'll be loud up in my speakers. Well, headphones actually. So, the question you might ask is what is making my Minecraft Let's Play any more different than the hundreds of other ones out there? Oh, and first off, I kind of need to uh, excuse my uh, my voice. I've been sick for the past few days, and if I suddenly cough up in your face and sniffle your ears dry, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. But if I suddenly cough, uh, or if you think I sound stuffed or clogged, it is because I've been sick for the past week. Uh, I also kind of wanted to uh, give uh, Minecraft a new try uh, with the new. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the fact that I'm sick is making me want to try Minecraft again. I have been playing a bit on a server with some friends of mine, but uh, it hasn't really worked out too well. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a Minecraft Let's Play on the server, but that doesn't really work out because a lot of things are different from single player as opposed to the multiplayer. For instance, the attacking of mobs and all that. And there are a few multiplayer bugs that don't exist in single player. Anyways. So, yeah. Huh, back on track. The question you might ask is, what is making my L L Minecraft Let's Play any different from uh, anyone else's? Well, you do have uh, people like DarkM77, uh, who is very skilled with redstone and uh, uh, that kind of mechanical stuff. Same with Etho, Etho's lab. Another thing Etho has going for him is the fact that he's living in a cave, and that music is really loud. Oh, 100%. Right. Right. So I'm going to turn everything down a bit, hoping that's working out. Well, I kind of want to leave the music on a little bit. But yeah, uh, we have people like Etho of Etho's lab, uh, who is like uh, very skilled with redstone. He's also. He's also living in a cave, which makes him a little bit more interesting than the average Let's Player. You get that, right? Anyways, <coughs> so what I'm thinking I'll do is that I will um, <coughs> live in the sky. Yes, quite simply. I'm going to take advantage of the new uh, building height with the 1.2.3 patch. 1.2 patch, actually. Uh, and uh, I'll be living in the sky. I'll, at some point, uh, pillar up to level 200-ish, leaving about 56 blocks for uh, space after that, because the previous building space was maxed at 228 blocks. No, 128 blocks. And doubling that, uh, you leave, you get stuck with 256 which is new building height. So if I build at 200, I'll still have like 56 blocks in height to uh, to build out of. At some point I'll probably try to transport up uh, stuff like all the different passive animals and uh, try to uh, bring up some grass. I'm not sure how I'll do that. I'll probably find some way to bring it up via stairs. Either that or I'll have to get the, like a silk touch pick, which is kind of crappy. Crappy on the fact that it's not crappy the pick itself, but the fact that I need to get one and yeah, that's a way off at least. So I'll try to at some point bring grass up to my humble abode in the sky. Um, I'll have wheat farms, food farms, all the 
different animals and uh, yeah I'll try to make that work now it's gonna be a little bit of time before I actually get up there because um, I need to gather some materials to bake like to make like a uh, pre pre preliminary platform for me to uh, start building on and uh, I've calculated that I want to make a 20 by 20 area up in the sky I'll try to make it over water so I won't take too much fall damage if I if I do get thrown off for some reason um, so yeah 20 by 20 area up in the sky meaning I'll need about seven stacks of whatever material I'm going to be building with in order to make that first platform. Now easiest is of course cobblestone or um, or dirt but I'm gonna take it the extra mile and um, <coughs> make it all out of stone bricks. Stone bricks are my new favorite uh, favorite block in the game so I need to gather up seven stacks of cobblestone and a whole bunch of coal then I need to cook it into smooth stone and then make it into stone bricks and once I have seven stacks of the cobblestone I'll uh, get back to you guys actually uh, I'm gonna just do a little bit of gathering of materials to begin with here so once the first night sets in, I'll probably just dig straight down and uh, and uh, start gathering up the materials I need. I also need about I don't know 100 dirt blocks or so to tart pillar up straight up in order to start or get to level 200. Uh, yes. So well, I'm gonna. Just keep doing what I'm doing, and um, I'll see you guys in a. If anything uh, interesting happens, I'll keep recording, but yeah. God, I hate being sick. Oh well. <laughs> Getting close to seven stacks now, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven stacks. Then I need to get some um, charcoal coal somehow get that together and I'll start cooking it up yeah Holy crap. 
Hello, sir. Don't mind me. Actually, maybe I should let him blow up. Huh. Maybe not. Creeper? No. Okay. <laughs> that always has me creeped out. Okay, let's find some coal. Or potentially more iron. So, um, try to avoid um, digging too many caves of ourselves, of our own. Because um, <coughs> we won't be spending much time on the ground anyways. Well, actually, maybe I will. Off camera, at least. I'll be gathering all the materials and such off camera. But yeah, multi building and such we'll be doing uh, up in the sky. Actually, I don't need any more stone. Why am I digging for stone? Stupid, stupid. I need coal and dirt right now. I forgot to bring some chicken, anyways. And yeah, I killed off a whole bunch of chickens uh, earlier. I need the dim eggs and dim chickens. Let's see if we can find some coal up in the hillside here. Nothing. No. Was that what I think it was? No. Not iron. Yes, I'm still saying iron wrong. A whole, whole, whole bunch of people commented on my Skyrim video saying I said iron wrong. Who the fuck cares? Is my answer to that. Anyways, there's some coal. I'll try to grab that. Actually, I want the egg. Chickens will probably be my main uh, source of food because I don't need to make so a elevator for them. I can just try to spawn some up at my new home up in the sky. But yeah, I'm gonna gather just here and I'll. Uh, Get back to it. <laughs> now, where did I leave my home? That's a pretty good question. I think it's uh, somewhere around this big mountain here. Yeah, probably right there. Wow, that's a lot of chickens, isn't it? The one thing I think I'll be in dire need of is a lot of wood. Um, because these extreme mountain biomes, they don't really have that much uh, of wood on them. So I'll have to be very sparse with the uh, saplings to begin with. <laughs> Hopefully they'll drop a lot of um, goodies. Yeah, the torches there. They're all mine. So, I'm gonna use these two bones I found. See if I can get some more saplings. Also, I'll probably start cooking up some charcoal once I get the wood. Oops. Creeper legs? No. Goody. <laughs> Whoa. Hey guy. Oh, hey guys. Um sorry, you're not invited to this party. <laughs> cooking nicely. Uh, I guess I'll start farming some more wood once daytime hits. Yeah. Well, sounds like it's daytime. All the skeletons are getting burned away. Um, yeah. Eh. 
Ugh, I hit my nose right now. Let's see how's this doing? Pretty good, pretty good. And this, pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight. I think eight pieces of coal or charcoal uh, cooks up exactly one stack of whatever. Yeah, I see your green little legs there. Just you stay away. Let's see. Um, leave the wood. Bring a couple chickens with me. Leave the rest. Let's see. Axe. I probably need another axe. Nope. Wrong. There we go. And I'll uh, spend a bit of time uh, getting some wood now after I deal with this creeper bastard. Whoa. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, damn. This asshole's been hiding under this hair ledge. That's not cool. Oh, bones. Yes, I like bones. I should probably remove this. Meh. I'll probably not stay stay uh, near the ground long enough for it to matter anyways. Let's see. Did I bring the bone meal? I did indeed. Let's chop the down some trees here. So I just picked up something new. I'm not sure if it's uh, new to the game or if it's just me not ever having seen it or seen anyone use it But if you use bone meal straight on the grass like this Boom you get this grass the tall grass which You can farm for seeds but There's also a few other side effects to it um, You get flowers Sometimes red sometimes yellow sometimes both So it's an effective way of farming flowers if you ever need uh, a lot of uh, uh, flowers for dye uh, to color your sheep or wool. So, yeah, I never noticed that before. I'm not sure if it's new or not. Um, please leave a comment about that below. I'm gonna get back to farming these trees. Bah. I need a lot of wood in order to make ladders so I can get up and down to my sky castle. <coughs> I also have sort of picked a name for it, um, but I'm not going to spoil that quite yet. So, I'll get some more wood and I'll see you guys in a few seconds again. So, last stack just finished. Um, I'll convert that into uh, stone bricks and uh, we have a bit over what we need, but uh, it'll come in handy. See, anything else I need to bring? I should bring some food. Some eggs. Actually, I'll leave those. I'll come back for them later. Now, let's see if we can find ourselves a nice little place to uh, pillar up. Um, probably near this mountain. Because I. Whenever I do build uh, on the ground, I like the extreme mountain biomes. Or extreme hills, as it's called. It's my favorite one. Hey, squiddies, what's up? So I guess <coughs> I guess I'll build out here this little island uh, right here. Yeah, looks like a nice place as any, I guess. See, the idea behind building in the water, or in the middle of the water, is that when I eventually make a mob farm up uh, at my city in the sky, it'll be uh, very effective because of the fact that mobs can't spawn anywhere nearby, and they'll um, theoretically all spawn in my mob farm. So to make it all let's see seems relatively safe to drop down anywhere uh, at least on this side and this side <laughs> and it's relatively close to my uh, mountain my home mountain there so might as well just start pillaring up let's see I'm gonna keep an eye on the uh, 
the Y coordinate, uh, which is your height. You can notice on the far left side there. Uh -huh. <coughs> so I'm going to be doing this up until level 200. I'll start building a platform. All right, so here we are, top of the world. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start building like this. Um, let's see, I have. I had an idea about how I was gonna do this. Let's see, it's a 2x2 two two square in the middle for a potential elevator at some point later in life. And then it's. I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That way. Whoa, crap. Okay, first death. Or maybe not. Yes, first death. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Good thing I had all those ladders. Oh, well. Creepy sounds. It's not hard to see where I'm building. <laughs> yeah, my shift key is going to get a lot of work. Um, <laughs> quite simply. Well, I'll get back up and I'll see you guys there. So, it's turning night time and I really cannot afford uh, having a skeleton spawn up there, so I'm going to have to hurry up and play some torches around. Once I get up, um, Damn, this is a long way up. I'm not going to put you guys through uh, climbing the ladder every single time, but man. Uh-oh. But yeah, this is pretty damn tall. Let's see if I can make a preliminary platform of some kind. Whoa! Oh, nope. Oh, damn, dude. Holy crap. Whoa. Man, my plans to get up there quick are not working out the way I had thought. Let's see, drop down a little bit, up, platform, 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 good, okay, good. And then I can make like some kind of stairs to go up. Man, building up in the sky has some challenges, to put it that way. <laughs> Let's see, that's eight out. Let's see. Can I make a quick chest up here? Let's see. Might as well build workbench and the chest up here. It's gonna be my new home. Uh, put it there for now. Let's see, dump all the stone bricks and the cobblestone. Don't need that. Let's see, do I still have all my stacks after I fell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks. Yes, indeed. Let's see, bring this with me. Couple chickens. And uh, one more of those. Leave the rest of those. Bring one more stack of that. Okay. So, I think we're ready to get going. Wow, this is really beautiful. You can clearly see where I've been building. It's going to be very interesting to see once I start properly building around this area. So let's see. Shift. Hold shift. With all my might. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep building this and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Oy. How wonderful. Knock on wood. Um, although I'm not going to take my fingers off the keyboard right now. Wait, did I count wrong? Let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then this one must be wrong. Okay. No matter. Fill it in, anyways. Like so. Then I have to start filling all this in. I hope I calculated right. I believe I did. 
I did some testing in creative mode, just you know, get the dimensions correctly. And um, the reason why I'm choosing a 20 by 20 uh, platform is, uh, well, I can show you guys later in a later video. But there is a reason for it. Um, the exact dimensions, not just a nice round number. There's also a more in-depth reason for why I chose level um, 200 to build as my uh, base platform. Let's see. Fill in this, and then finally this area. Oops. Get that back, thankfully. Wow, sunrise up here is pretty damn beautiful, isn't it? Although, it is increasingly blocky. Well, did they, did they change the moon? Like, it's um, crescent-shaped now? I don't think it used to be crescent-shaped before, was it? I think it was just big, round, and blue. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to finish up this platform and, um, yeah. That will probably be it for today's video. I need to gather some more material and do some caving off camera, I believe. So that's it. Um, let's count it up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18... Wait, what? Did I count wrong? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. Um, just a second. So, yeah, it turns out I counted wrong. But, it's not that hard to fix. It's just one block off. Um, I'll just fill this in. Real quick, no big cheesy. Um, so what else? Yeah, I'm gonna be spending most of my time up in the sky, um, at least on camera. Um, gonna try to bring up some grass, like I said, bring up a bunch of um, trees, and try at some point to shuttle up all of the farm animals. I'm still not sure how I want to do that either a water elevator or some kind of contraption involving the uh, railway lines but that will probably be ugly as hello um, but anyways it'll be fun to play around with <laughs> start out with I'll just use chickens as my main source of food and um, company aside from you guys it's a very one-sided relationship we have here, I feel. So let's see. Yeah, I can probably jump off one of these sides. Yeah, it'll be fine. Wow, do you see this huge shadow it's casting down there? Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. If you didn't, leave me a comment letting me know so I can promptly ignore it. <laughs> Other than that, please remember that the Game of Firsts is still in effect with all my videos. Uh, basically, whoever gets first on this video will get a shout-out in the next video and a small annotation to their channel. It's a pretty nice deal, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, see you guys uh, next episode. Geronimo!